1300 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by hasan gilani first the headlines national assembly was informed today that around 95% of stranded pakistanis have been brought back in the wake of covid-19 pandemic At the United Nations, Pakistan says Prime Minister's debt relief initiative was designed to provide adequate fiscal space for developing countries to recover from coronavirus. The number of recoveries from coronavirus pandemic continues to increase in the country. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred two youth in Rajouri district today. and now the news in detail national assembly was informed today that around 95% of stranded pakistanis have been brought back in about 2 and a half month in the wake of covid-19 pandemic speaking during question hour parliamentary secretary on foreign affairs andalip abbas said that about 250000 stranded pakistanis were repatriated from across the world while majority of pakistani zairin have returned from iran she said around 25 zairin are still living in iran with their relatives and friends at the holy cities of qum and mashhad she said holy shrines in these cities are currently closed due to second wave of covid-19 in iran she said the remaining pakistani zairin are likely to return to Parlip, to pakistan by next flight of iran air tomorrow from tehran to karachi some are also reportedly planning to return to pakistan by taftan border she said parliamentary secretary said pakistan embassy in tehran and consulates in mashhad and zaitan are in constant touch with pakistani community in iran to ensure their well-being and their return to pakistan At the United Nations, Pakistan says Prime Minister Imran Khan's debt relief initiative was designed to provide adequate fiscal space for developing countries to recover from grave crises set off by a coronavirus pandemic. This was stated by Pakistan's permanent representative to United Nations, Munir Akram, while speaking at a webinar. The ambassador underscored the importance of securing participation of private creditors in the debt suspension, which was extensively discussed by the experts in the webinar and of multilateral development banks. There is a significant improvement in the number of recoveries from COVID-19 in Pakistan with the tally reaching 244,883 according to the latest data shared by the National Command and Operations Center 1063 new cases and 27 deaths were reported during the last 24 hours 21256 tests were carried out during this period Special Assistant on Youth Affairs Usman Dar says Tiger Force volunteers will fully participate in tree plantation campaign on Tiger Force Day to be observed on 9th of next month. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, he said Tiger Force volunteers will plant 1 million saplings across the country on that day. Special Assistant said Forest Department will identify the sites of tree plantation and the Tiger Force volunteers in collaboration with the district administration will plant the saplings. He said a Tiger Force app has been launched to empower the Tiger Force. Minister for Power Division Umar Ayub Khan says the government is taking various initiatives for development in energy sector addressing the launching ceremony of Pakistan's first electric charging station in Islamabad this morning he said it is a welcoming initiative and an important step towards clean and green Pakistan Umar Ayub Khan said 24 electric stations will be set up in future which will help common people of the country he said government is taking solid steps to control environmental pollution in occupied kashmir <clears throat> indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred two youth in rajouri district the troops martyred two youth and injured another during a military operation in noshera area of the district meanwhile the troops launched a cordon and search operation at warpura in sopur area of north kashmir's baramulla district the troops cordoned off the area and launched house to house searches Saudi Arabia has presented a framework to expedite a stalled November deal in Yemen's south. 
designed to end a standoff between nominal allies. So the state news agency SPA said Riyadh is seeking to unite separatist and government forces in Yemen south to concentrate their common fight against Houthi forces, which control the north of the country. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.